What is up everybody, it's Tiz, your boy Geek of Sneakers, back with another video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are doing a giveaway at 5K, where I'm giving away two $150 gift cards to two separate winners to any retail store of your choosing. And after you subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell, be notified every time I post a new video, join the notification gang. Make sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed it, and make sure to follow me on Twitter and IG at Geek of Sneak. Un hold up, under, hold wait, hold up, under, Wait, where are my two fingers? Underscore, there we go, it's a little bit long, but we got it. Now today we're doing a lacing tutorial on the Puma RSX Cube. I've gotten a few requests to do this video, plus I looked on YouTube and not too many people have done lacing tutorials on this shoe. So I wanna do this video to help you guys because I know a lot of people are copying this shoe because of what you're getting for $110, or even cheaper if it's on sale. I'm gonna be showing you guys three simple lacing systems and the first one is gonna be the tight way. So first what you wanna do is take the left side of your string and put it through the first hole right here. Same thing with the other string. Then after that you want to make sure your laces are even and then pull. Then you want to take the right part of your string and we're going to go over to this hole right here. Same thing with the other side. And we're doing that for the whole lacing up to this hole right here. And I forgot to mention this little loop right here in the middle that you can put your lace through. You can put it through there, of course, but for me personally, I'm gonna go over it. From here, what you wanna do is take your right string and put it through this hole right here. Same with the other side. And of course you're gonna have a lot of string left over, so what you could do is take some of the string and pull it out like this. Keep it behind the tongue and do the same thing with the other side.
that way you have less string to work with and you don't have to double tie it and if you do double tie it i think the knot is still going to look pretty big because you have a lot of laces left over so by doing this you could tie it just once You definitely want to do this lacing with your foot inside the shoe already. If you do this lacing without your foot in the shoe, then it's going to be pretty hard to put your foot in unless you loosen up some laces and then tighten it. But yeah, let's go ahead and put these on feet. Now for this lacing, we're going to be doing the loose way. Before you start, you're going to want to widen your shoe like this. And you want to take your left string, put it through this hole right here. Same with the other side. Again, make sure your laces are even and pull. Once you've done that, you want to leave a little bit of space like this. Then again, you want to take your right string and put it through this hole right here. And again, you want to leave this much space and do the same thing with the other side. And we're gonna be doing that throughout the whole lacing, so let me just give you guys a time lapse. Again, you can put it through this loop right here, but I'm going to go over it again.
when you get to here you want to take the left part of your string and put it through the hole right here and we're only going to leave this much out so with this leftover again you can put it behind the tongue and do the same thing with the other side of the string This is how I personally laced them for myself and I laced them exactly like this when I did the review on them and also for the on feet in that video. So let me go ahead and show you guys a clip from when I did the on feet in that video right now. The final lacing we have is gonna be in the middle of the first one and the second one. So again, you guys know to Joe to put the laces through these two holes right here. Again, make sure your laces are even and pull. We're not going to tighten the laces or make it loose, we just want to get the laces through the hole. Again, you want to put your left string through this hole right here. Same with the other side. Now since you don't have as much laces left over as the first lacing, you can double tie it. Now let's get to the final on feet.
hope the video was very helpful and if it was make sure to hit that thumbs up again make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and again make sure to follow me on twitter and ig at geek of sneak underscore make sure you keep rocking with your boy it's been your boy harry aka geek of sneakers aka geek of sneaks aka geek aka g o s y'all stay safe have a great day i'm out